Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dina and as you can probably guess from the title and this wonderful gold card, this is the fifth video in our Pokemon TCG Forbidden Light Booster Box opening series where I get to show you all of the awesome cards that we got from opening the booster box. Now it's been a good while since we've gotten one of these golden, ultra, super, ridiculous rare cards. Though it is not a Pokemon, uh, we ended up getting a trainer card. Still a golden, ultra, super, secret, super rare, but it is a, um, an item. It is a metal frying pan, a card that, uh, Rapunzel would be proud of. Still looks really cool, but I, I, I wonder why they make the item cards golden rares like this. I don't know. So in addition to this ultra rare, we also ended up getting an Eveltal GX full art in all of its super shiny, prismy glory. Check that out. What a nice card. And if that ultra rare was not enough, we also got Serenius GX. So we got the X and Y buddies here. Not a full art, but always happy for a GX card, especially one that's so rainbowy. We also got Eveltal GX, the non-full art version. So we got both of these guys. And here are the two different versions side by side of the Eveltal GX cards. So we got full art and non-full art. Though the way they're making these cards nowadays, it almost seems like full art, don't you think? And there's the two guys. Uh, which art style do you guys prefer? I'm kind of on the fence about this because usually these look so epic, but I feel like these colors are more more like classically the Veltal, if that makes sense. So we've got, we ended up getting the Golden Rare, a full art Veltal. EX Serenius, EX Eveltal. So that was actually four, I guess you could say, ultra rares. Which is um, at least on par for what a box is meant to give you. Um, not even including like the whole secret rare aspect of this box, which was pretty good. And then next up we had holo cards. They seem to be doing less and less holo cards per package now. That's at least all I've experienced. So here we have a Garchomp Hollow. We also ended up getting Pyroar Hollow with Alexander in the back. Tyrantrum Hollow. Empoleon Hollow. Ooh, nice middle type. Guzzlord Hollow. Two, an Ultra Beast. As well as a couple of the um, Prism cards. So we ended up getting five Hollow cards. So already up to nine special cards, or I guess better than just regular rare cards. We also ended up getting some of the Prisms. We got Beast Energy. Prism card, Volcanion Prism. I actually ended up getting two of those, so let me move that around. Two Volcanions and Arceus. So ended up getting four Prism cards for a total of 13 better than average rares, which is one in every three packs, which is pretty good in my book. <laughs> I think that's a bit better, or average is what they quoted. Plus, we ended up with some reverse holo rares here. We ended up with Aegislash, Rotom, Infernape, Pangoro, Auroras, Toxicroak, and Pheromosa Ultra Beast. For a total of seven reverse hollow rares. So in one booster box for 36 packs, we ended up getting 20 packs that 
had, or at least uh, 20 instances of better than just basic rare cards, if you know what I mean. Some of these um, reverse hollow rares were also in packs with these other guys, but it basically <laughs> came out to um, 20 out of 36 chances for a rare were better than just a rare. I'm not sure how you count reverse hollow rares, but I think that they're a little bit better than just non hollow rares, personally. So these guys are all going to go off to my special binder, which is getting quite full at the moment. We've gotten a lot of good cards recently. Helps, of course, when you're opening uh, booster boxes. Which is all due to my awesome Patreon patrons, who help me uh, beef up my channel, not only with Pokemon cards, but with proper equipment. Uh, we are on the uh, 3DO today, for instance. And uh, how I've been doing the card sorting and um, rare card videos these days is uh, I've been letting the video fade out to black because it's a lot simpler to edit, and I've gotten the feedback as well that um, people like to listen to these as they fall asleep, and sometimes the bright light of the video distracts them, so uh, hopefully you enjoy just a sounds-only rambly video as I talk through sorting the rest of these cards. Okay, so let me start with psychic type. It seems like there are a lot of psychic type Pokemon this go around. Only one dark type. We ended up getting one Pungoro which I will put off to the side. <laughs> he's easy, he's already sorted. Alright, so starting with the psychic type guys here, I've got a Meow Stick. And I do it alphabetically because I think it's easier to organize my overall collection, which is also getting quite large that way. And a Vesper. And Honed Edge, which comes before AK. Hoopa would come after Honed Edge. Mm, two different art types on the Hone Edge. But yeah, um, my collection has gotten quite big now, and I'm in the process of moving, so uh, you may have noticed that the videos are not as frequent. <laughs> Basically, I had an eventful summer full of an overseas surprise trip for my brother, followed by um, moving in to a new apartment. So I'm in the middle of packing at the moment. Um, the last thing I do before everything is fully packed up, I left my um, video equipment out um, the longest so that I could uh, film the rest of these guys and um, pack up my cards. Not moving too far away, but uh, yeah, hopefully in my new place um, I actually have a dedicated office that is going to be finally fully soundproofed. I'm so excited to have a dedicated filming spot again, and not just a dedicated filming spot, but one that is soundproof, like I always wanted to. The um, large windows that I used to film by were nice um, day to day, but don't exactly um, filter street noises out very well, as you may have heard in some of my older videos. So eventually I kind of gave up trying to film in my original filming room, which is unfortunate, but it was a big qualification for looking for new places. It's like, let me listen uh, in your rooms, let me listen to make sure that I can actually film in these rooms. So, yeah, having a dedicated nice place again will be nice, and uh, I can finally get my full experience with the 3DO. Because it, it's such a powerful microphone, I feel like I have to uh, turn everything off and still, when I go to sit and uh, edit the videos, I have to pay very close attention the whole time through editing. And these videos can get pretty long, so that I can try and edit out um, anything like a neighbor slamming their door or something. Uh, or uh, buses outside being very loud, or car alarms going. So yeah, rambly videos. 
Um, or like, though um, I have also gotten the feedback that sometimes it's difficult to fall asleep for the pack opening videos. They're good for like calming down, but uh, <laughs> when I end up getting excited about cards, uh, people like wake up a little bit and uh, try to see what card I got. So <laughs> sorry about that aspect. Hopefully they're balanced out by the uh, card sort of noise rambly videos. I still have quite a few videos that I want to film that I've not gotten to yet, playing specifically the 3DO's capabilities. Um, I have an older wig that I would like to uh, cut up, attempt maybe even like a roleplay style video, where uh, you know, giving you a little haircut. The, the new office type room will be helpful in that as well because uh, I will have a solid like desk setup as well, like a, a background that for these I can remove, but um, you won't just see random parts of my living room. <laughs> have a dedicated backboard, hopefully. I'd like to draw up something nice. Uh, maybe do some channel art. My YouTube channel artwork has been the same for like three years or something now, so we'll do for an upgrade. I just usually tend to think, oh, if I have time to put into YouTube, usually uh, upgrading the channel art is pretty low on my totem pole because People generally would prefer new content, I think, to um, to just like aesthetic changes, like the artwork. <laughs> yes, Rotom will come after Poi Poi, but before Squab. Okay. All right, and that is the psychic type sorted. Oh, additionally, um, in the new space, uh, there will be a nice closet that I can actually put away some of my filming items when I'm not using them, which will be nice. Um, and I think that'll also finally give me a better way to organize some of the cards in a more permanent storage. At the moment, well, I bought a bookcase, and I've just been kind of putting all of the cards sorted, though I did finally go through and sort them all, into um, some tops from some elite trainer boxes, and um, just been kind of storing them that way in the new place. Uh, I'd like to get a more permanent uh, setup for storing them, because some of the Pokemon types are overflowing their elite trainer boxes. They fit perfectly fine, all the types in their own box lid, when I first set them up, but, you know, as the collection grows, I'd like to be able to uh, still store it properly, so uh, that is also in the work. Hoping that my new apartment is also high up enough that the street noise does not affect um, the filming process. Um, I mentioned that I'm going to be getting like a soundproofing film and stuff, but I, before I imagine there will be um, a good deal of time where I'll still want to film before I get the full setup in swing, so hopefully it won't be too bad while I'm trying to get that all in place. Also, uh, it's definitely July, and um, I have not uh, put up Christmas videos from last year, so uh, you might be getting a Christmas in July shortly. <laughs> I tend to not prioritize the uh, vlog videos, since um, they're less uh, popular than 
my other videos, the hair ones or the ASMR ones, so I tend to leave the vlog videos <laughs> a bit past when they should be done. Partially also due to um, the fact that I shoot the vlogs kind of willy-nilly, <laughs> like on various SD cards and with various cameras. And of course, you know, each one is over the course of a month, so just compiling all that footage and putting it into um, order. Not to mention cutting out anything boring <laughs> or uh, out of focus. It does take quite a bit of time. It's not quite as tedious as uh, ASMR videos where I'm trying to like listen for any possible noise <laughs> as an editing, but um, definitely takes me a second. Mm, let's see, on to the trainers now. We've got fossil excavation loop, which would come before lady, which would come before ultra recon squad, and we have beast ring, and a porter, we do. Vision loop, loop, metal fighting, crusher work, we've got fossil fuel. Ah, these ones are going a bit quicker than the um, psychic type. I tend to like to start with the um, category that has the most <laughs> cards in it because then it makes all the other categories go so quickly. And we've got after all, we go. There we go, and metal frying pan, which we got the special gold one as well over here. At some point, I need to show, uh, or I need to go through my special card binder and resort those because uh, I've just been kind of putting them in the sleeves as I get them now rather than like going through and putting like, okay, all the ultra rares on this page and stuff like that. So, uh, that needs to happen at some point. If you're interested in seeing an updated what's in my rare Pokemon binder, I'm sure I could <laughs> persuade myself to make that video if it would get me to like actually sit there and organize the cards. Here we go, break zone, then again, let you then again, then again, break zone, then again, break zone, let Leo, and Lily, then again, then again, and Lily, okay. There were actually only, uh, and Heatran, there were actually only four fire Pokemon in this whole set. At least the ones that I have right here that weren't, like, rare. I should get better about, um, going back and seeing all the cards that are in this set after I open the, um, booster box. It's just so much easier when they give you the little uh, readout in the elite trainer boxes, I think. At some point, once I'm all settled in the new place, it would be fun to uh, go to a... Um, go to one of the, like, uh, premiere things again. What are they called? Like, previews? I forget. I went the one time, but um, it was a bit difficult to get to. Maybe if it looks like another good set, I will uh, check it out. Circuitry and Magneton. Magnet. Heliotard. Helios. Not too many on the uh, electric front either. Bay, we've become come before Florent. There we go, take it in. Ooh, over here. Sylvia. Sylvia one's cute. But uh, I think Debonet and all the like um, Pikachu <laughs> takeoffs, <laughs> like Pachirisu, are also pretty cute. Clubkey.
right, only a couple more stacks here, but <laughs> they're pretty uh, tall. How about the uh, fighting Pokemon? We've got Panchan here. Interesting that here they made him the fighting type and then uh, Pangora, the only uh, dark type in this whole box that I got. Hmm. Well, I guess technically, technically, uh, <laughs> the Eveltal, but since that was pulled out to my uh, special binder, I forgot to include him in that pile. Pangean, Cuba. Oh yeah, you might also notice that Molly was not trying to help me with this video. She is currently at my parents' house because all of the moving um, stuff, like trying to take things in and out, the possibilities of her getting out were pretty high because she is a little escape artist, so she's having a vacation at my parents' house with my mom's cat, Marley. So we can uh, clean everything and get it ready for her at the new place. It is very strange though when you're used to having a, a cat in the house and then you like see something out of the corner of your eye or you think you see something and it's like, is that Molly? No wait, she's not here. Wait, what was that? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, wait, what happened? Where'd you go? Oh wait, there's no cat here. Wait, then what was that? But it was like, usually I just like see, you know, uh, a car passing and like the, the lights get weird, but you see like a shadow and you just, you're so used to thinking, oh, it's probably the cat. Oh, no, wait, there's no cat here. <laughs> what was that? So I got, got a Hawlutra. Where did it go? Actually, over here. Good boy. Gabriel. Gilbulbin, Pangean, Barnacle, Barnacle, okay. I've thought about, um, like, how this one is kind of like an audio only for most of it, since, um, the visuals don't entirely matter. Um, I thought about releasing some of my other videos just so that the, like, audio, maybe to, like, SoundCloud or something, so if you guys want to listen without seeing the, um, video or having to have your, um, YouTube, like, blast light <laughs> into your room. Um, I've thought about doing that. The only problem is, well, I just have to actually do it and then, um, promote it. Um, you know, like, actually say, tell people that it's there. Because <laughs> it would, it wouldn't take me, I think, that long to just, um, take the audio file itself from my, um, uh, my video. I think I could probably just open it in the editor and only export the audio. Um, and, but, and then uh, upload it to like SoundCloud or something. I'm not sure if uh, people would want that uh, since most of the people are following me on uh, YouTube. I figured I would prioritize putting out content on YouTube first, but if people are interested in uh, some videos on uh, SoundCloud or something, let me know. Maybe I can uh, just pull some audio off there for you. It wouldn't probably make sense for most of my Pokemon card videos since they are pretty uh, visual based, but perhaps when I uh, make more of the like 3DO intensive ones, maybe like when I do the uh, hair cutting one. Or like an ear, just an ear brushing one or something. Maybe you guys would like that, just uh, on SoundCloud. Trying to uh, get the most out of my content, I guess, so that every way that you guys would, would want to enjoy it, I can uh, try and accommodate. <laughs> um, I think some people like just the calming aspect of ASMR, and some people prefer it to like fall asleep too, which I totally get. Depends on what I'm feeling as well. There's nothing more frustrating though <laughs> when I find like a really uh, good ASMR, but it's not like while I'm sleepy, but it's also not like a good one to fall asleep to, if you know what I mean. Like maybe it's a one that's a little bit too interesting. 
Uh, or uh, a little too involved that has my brain working. But then at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to then like wake myself up enough to like pause the video or like try and save it for later and find something else. So it's like, ah, uh, I don't know what I should do. <laughs> would come after Amara. There he is. And Babaji. Amara. There he is. Dupied. A couple of others. Raquinia. Dupied. Culture. Silky. Culture. Amara. Babaji. Silky. Culture. Plot. Well, I can just put these down. Okay, so that's all the water Pokemon. These videos definitely end up a bit <laughs> rambly as I'm going through all the cards. Alright, now we just have grass Pokemon and the trainers, and we're actually done sorting all these. I think these videos usually end up being somewhere around like 35 minutes, so we're on pace for that. Skittles, Gardevoir, Skittles, Go, Go, to Execute, with a couple of Bats, Skittles, with the two artworks, uh, Go, Go, to the Ladies, Alolan Executor, I forgot that he was in this. Uh, I guess I'll file him under Executor, not Alolan. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys um, still play Pokemon Go, but I've been trying to use it to get myself out of the house <laughs> a bit more um, exercise-wise. It's gotten really hot lately, so that hasn't been <laughs> very fun. But um, they finally, finally introduced like the friend friend code and can send uh, people gifts and stuff, which is pretty cool. You know, kind of funny that it took them two years to introduce uh, trading and friends and stuff. <laughs> I feel like that was kind of wanted for a long time, but people that haven't been into it for a while, I think it got back in a little recently, which is pretty cool. For the second anniversary. I was really into it until it got like super hot recently. Which is not, not the greatest. Because, I don't know, personally I think it's kind of... Cheat- cheating isn't the right word, but kind of cheap. If you just like sit inside and like spin the Pokemon stops, like, I like to actually use it to like get out and find them and stuff, so... Usually if I'm playing, I'm actually up and out, but... Yeah, hard to do when uh, it's like 100 degrees. <laughs> made decent progress on the third generation of Pokemon, but there's still so many that I'm missing from Gen 1 and 2. For instance, I've been walking a Charmeleon for the longest time trying to get enough candies to get a Charizard. Don't know why Charmeleons just never seem to spawn around me, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Why do I feel like I've already sorted trainer cards? Did I somehow have two trainer? Oh gosh. <laughs> the other day I kind of uh, tripped over all these cards and um, I think I accidentally split my trainer card pile. <laughs> I thought that was a little too easy. Usually end up with more trainer cards than that. <laughs> yeah, so I split my trainer card, I guess, into, into two piles when I tidied it back up. <laughs> Identified for 
also after the ultra boys. Noi bats somehow got in here. Oh, uh, when I put them back together, I think I accidentally put the trainers and the <laughs> normal Pokemon together. Easy mistake, since most of them are just plain in the background. This makes more sense. I'm surprised I didn't realize that there weren't any um, normal Pokemon cards or normal type. Okay. So now we're on to our final Pokemon card pile, the uh, normal cards, or the normal Pokemon type of cards. Not too many this go around. I just feel like there are so many types now, it's like, by the time you actually get uh, your whole booster box out, when you've divided everything into piles, it's uh, pretty easy to separate them out. Not too many types. Or not too many in each type, I should say. Diggersby, Lilybird, Bumblebee, Furfur, Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Lilybird, Furfur. <laughs> Just a little bit of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for instance, there are only five uh, normal type Pokemon here. Which I feel is a bit lower than your average, but now that there are so many different types. <laughs> Alrighty, that was all of our Pokemon cards from this booster box, the Forbidden Light booster box, all sorted as I ran along. Hope you enjoyed the uh, visual free, just rambly and sorty video. I'm going to make some traditional ASMR type noises until the end of the video, but uh, Hopefully next time you see me in one of these Pokemon card videos, I will be in my new setup, in my new apartment. Yay!